Hey guys, thanks again for watching Jeeps Rock. Over here on my left, we're going to be talking about the Overland Gear Guy tire bag. It also can be put on if you have an RV, it can be on the ladder as well. But I just want to show you actually how big this really is and why the cost versus what other competition that might be out there and why it's well worth it. So the first thing you might hear, as you can hear, are these clasps. And they are heavy duty. They're, I mean, they're rock solid. They're not the cheaper ones that you might see in other quality ones that are out there, but this is the ones that are got a nice snap to them. They're heavy duty. So the first thing I do is got two claps there. And this is actually kind of like a rain fly. This keeps all the water off. I'll show you a little bit later what we'll put in here as well, besides what we have in here. But we just want to show you kind of what we have, just to show you how much room. And you can see there's still quite a bit of room in here that we didn't even fill up. But it uses a zipper versus like Velcro to, uh, to lock it all in. First thing we have are a little bit of air hose in case we need to help somebody on the side of the road or if we just need to air something back up. We've also got the Rotopack, and this one's black because this is more of a storage version of the Rotopack, but it's just a nice, easy way to slide it in and out. And you've got all your little uh, compartments in here. But again, and why it's black, again, it's just storage. So you can just keep all your stuff in here. And that way it doesn't roll around inside. Then we also have the go treads. The go treads are going to be your recovery gear. And these are not only for recovery gear, but they can also be like leveling blocks. So if you have like a rooftop tent or something, you also have leveling blocks with you. So again, we still have even more to go, but those are in there as well. So all of our recovery gears right here for our treads. And then we go all the way down. We've also got like our bubble rope. Bubble rope is more of a, like a kinetic type of recovery. It's like a, almost like a snatch rope. You get that momentum going and pull somebody out. So again, this is I think 50 feet. So good size amount of rope there. And if you look down here at the bottom, we have two bag, little pockets right here. I usually just try to keep some tools in here. Of course, this is a Jeep, so you gotta have your little Jeep, Jeep tools. And then just to show you again the size, can even fit up something like this for some more craftsman bits or something like that that you might have with a drill or something in here but that's what you can do with that so there's an entire amount of space but we can also put if we wanted to we've got a five gallon gas vaseline tank here and we can put that in there too so i mean it's endless possibilities but you can also if you wanted to because you have the rain fly um, you can also put like firewood in here that way you can keep it a little bit drier if it's at your campsite you Always want your firewood to stay dry But uh, real quick We'll also show you again. This is made in the USA. So it's all um, Sewn in-house so you can choose the color you want You can also see that this is on a 35 inch tire and with the 35 inch tire These straps are perfect, but if you have like a 40 inch tire you're running on your Jeep That's okay. Just tell them that and they'll have a larger size amount of, uh, of webbing for you. And then the way it connects is you've got five, five points. You have two here, one down below, and one on either side. Normally the competition is gonna have them on the top and bottom only, but the one in the center really helps you get that centered, makes it nice and tight. And what we use, we use this very importantly for us because we have an aftermarket tire carrier. And the only, if we didn't have this, there's no way we could have made this work just because we have a little bit of brackets and stuff on the back, which doesn't allow us to get much room. So with his setup, with Overland Gear Guy's setup, we were able to get that to work for us. But again, if you wanted to, we've already got that out of there. I would say probably the most important thing for us that we use this for is that either gonna be for trash, of course, or this is all of our dirty clothes. We went through, and again, it can hold it. Just smash it in there. I mean, there's a lot of dirty clothes. But the reason I mentioned the dirty clothes is because we actually took this all the way in one month. We took 7,500 miles in one month across the country. And if you think about it, we also had our top on and everything. After just a couple of days, it really starts to smell. As well as like when we went out to the ocean, our shoes were soaked. It was a lot of fun, but you don't want to put soaked shoes back in your vehicle because once they dry out, it smells bad. Let me tell you. So we figured out 
we'll just put the shoes at the bottom and let them dry and then that smell is not in our vehicle anymore. So this can also be a very nice thing not only to keep trash, we also just keep other smells out of your vehicle. So these are just a few, few little things here from Overland Gear Guy. This is also version two I wanted to let you know with the zipper and the Rainfly. There's a different version. Version one has more of a molly strap here and it's uh, secured by Velcro inside. So those are really the only two differences. Again, this comes in different colors. But check out overlandgearguy.com. And uh, again, this is the trail bag. And thanks again for watching Jeep's Rock. And we'll see you out on the trail.